all right welcome back to another video it's your favorite transparent youtuber transparent hoodie on the mic and today we're going to be live reacting to oh, i've been waiting for this for so long street fighter news see well i mean uh, it's not really street fighter news but they're announcing the cpt for 2019 and um from what i saw from this video's thumbnail i don't want to spoil it because i left the screen black for a reason but if you guys don't know, I'm not going to spoil it. But usually when it comes to CPT, we get costumes for certain characters. We get stages. And they do throw in other things. Um, hopefully they could also use this time or this 36, 37 seconds that they do have to at least throw us some bones here and there. Like what are they going to do for the next season of Street Fighter? Are they going to tease maybe certain DLCs that they're going to or plan to release in the future? Like I really do want to know what they plan to do for Street Fighter V because... I know Street Fighter V, for the most part, is a really large mixed bag of emotions when it comes to how most people feel for the game, whether you're casual or competitive. But I don't know. I, I just genuinely like Street Fighter. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, I genuinely like Street Fighter for just what it is, you know, Street Fighter. It has the legacy, it has interesting stories for certain characters, you know, like I just like Street Fighter as a whole. And plus, you know, I love Capcom properties. Like, you guys should already know this. Like, you guys, if you guys watch my Devil May Cry videos, you guys know I love me some Capcom games. But, let's let's go. But it's so short, though. It's only 30, 36, 37 seconds. All right, let's go. All right. Brand new costumes. Ew, what was that? <laughs> was that Kage's costume? Gentleman Kage? Uh, we'll reserve opinions for the end. Okay, we got Kage's costume. Oh, we got Sagat's new costume. Ooh, Sagat costume actually looks pretty dope. Ring of Justice thing, so they gave us another stage. New colors? Of course, that happens with every CBT though. Oh, oh, it was so short. Okay, okay, okay. I guess that's it, right? All right, all right, all right. But that's kind of that's kind of sick, though. Ooh, I can honestly say, all right. So let's let's do this in order, though. So first thing first, no. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Gentleman Kage. I mean, Butler Kage. Suit and tie Kage, however you want to dub him. I mean, for the most part, it, it looks all right. Not a costume that I would have foresaw Kage wearing. Like, if you guys told me like a week or two ago that, hey, Kage is going to be wearing a suit and tie and he has a monocle, you, you couldn't convince me at all. Like, not even a little bit because I don't get it. Like, usually, I mean, for the most part, costumes are meant to transform the character into something that would aesthetically make him feel different but i always thought when it came to the costumes for street fighter it upheld the character's essence in a sense where it made sense that this costume is associated with this character in some type of way right so i mean it, it does look cool very simple compared to a lot of the other costumes that street fighter 5 offers but i mean it's not a bad costume for 5.99 i mean it's not bad Usually, it would be better to get this costume with the whole CPT package. Only because, first thing, it does support the competitive players that play this game seriously. And second thing, you get way more than just the costume itself. Because I don't know how many people is gonna just buy Kage's costume. Unless you could say, you could say, I mean, you could say dope stuff. Like, you know what? It's time to go into business. I'm playing no game. Bringing out the Kage costume with the suit. You know, like, I mean, you could say something like that. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. All right. So next, next is, where's he at? Where's Mr. Sagat? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I like Sagat's costume. His, CP, his CPT costume kind of looks dope. He kind of got this seasoned, I want to say warlord, street fighter type of vibe going for him. But um, very old school-esque, maybe like 80s street thug kind of villain to him. Like, I really like it. He got the do-rag or the su-rag. You know, I don't know why he has a suit rag on because, you know, Sagat's bald. So I don't know what kind of waves he's trying to keep on tight. But it is what it is, though. But 
You know, I really like it. I like the aesthetic of it. Like, I like the beard. I like the do-rag, the eye patch. It just all fits so well for Sagat. Like, honestly, I would buy this costume separately. If I was if I was a Sagat main, I mean, I play around with Sagat. Like, I really don't use him seriously. But if I did use Sagat as a competitive character or a serious character, I'm definitely buying this costume. Like, why not? It looks dope. All right. And then next is the new arena that they have and check this out wait wait, wait. yo yo so down in the background Ooh, ooh. are they teasing something i don't know guy what so down mm. so down reveal come on guys like what character in the background that that was a, either a prior Street Fighter character they didn't put in the game. Come on. Come on. You tell it. Yo, so. Yo, yo, that's crazy. That's kind of crazy. I'm man loud, but I'm hype. I'm sorry, guys. And I mean, the stage looks dope. But the only my only problem with some of these stages that they have sometimes is that. I wish they were more classic stages because I feel like for maybe I could be remembering wrong. But I feel like for season three for Street Fighter, we didn't get a lot of stages. Or maybe we did get the right amount, but they just usually give us not a lot of stages when it comes to these new seasons. So I don't know. But yo, Hyper Sting. So down. So down. Super hype. Ring of Justice. I mean, it's another arena stage, I guess. And when I say arena stage, I mean like for a spectacle, you have the audience watching the two fighters go at it. So obviously, I'm going to assume that for finals they're gonna use this stage obviously but i think that's pretty dope that's pretty dope all right what else oh yeah i forgot champion choice outfit damn who who won cpt shit who wasn't it got it was a rashid i know it was a rashid player though i think last cpt was won by a rashid player so i don't know maybe a rashid costume coming soon i could be wrong again i could be remembering wrong and then, yes, this right here. We got to get on it. There, boom. So I think they're going with gold and black. Already interested. I love this color scheme for the new CPT colors for all the cast of characters. Like, that's so dope to me. Because contrast-wise and aesthetically, I mean, Chung Lee makes it look good. Jury makes it look okay. I can't see her full portrait because you know how to pause it. Ryu makes it look good. Akuma, I mean, is decent for him. But I like it, though. I like it, though. Like, a, a goldish black? I mean, that's not bad. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all they really gave us. Um, Did they give us a date, though? So, we get the usual 10,000 fight money. We get the new colors. We get the champion choice um costume, which is most likely going to be Rashid, because I think Rashid won 2018 CPT. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, We got Ring of Justice, new stage, and then we got two new costumes. And... I'm assuming this would be available pretty soon, though. And much more. Oh, they even said much more. We're going to get this and much more. So, you know what? I'm going to say this then. Because they're announcing... Okay, uh, they didn't give us a release date. So, because they didn't announce the release date, and because they're saying much more now when March is approaching, there's no doubt in my mind, the first major for Street Fighter, we're going to get like a shit ton of news like so much news and I'm, I'm excited for it man like it sucks that for um uh, evil japan they didn't give us any news which kind of was a very very massive deterrent yo like i was very very disappointed and let's not say disappointed i feel like disappointed is a strong word but i was very upset man because i was looking into or looking into looking forward to cap hong kong uh, not cap hong kong uh evil japan and when I just saw the stream end with no news, I was just kind of like, damn, man, like still no news. But with this and then the first major coming soon, I think the first major is going to be like March 10th or something like that. So with the first major popping up soon, I just can't wait, man. Like I'm really, really excited to see what they're going to do. Oh, man, like, let's go, man. Like I'm hyped. Um, so let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the costumes, if you hated it, comment down below. Let me know your feelings about it. Um... Also, let me know what you guys think about the I kind of the fake Sodom reveal. Like, I don't know. Like, let me know what you guys think about that. I think that's really dope. Cause 
again, like I said, like usual, usually characters like that that they have in the background are playable. I remember Alex was in the, a background character at one point, and they made him playable. Urian was a background character at one point; he would playable. Necro was a background character for this game. No, Necro became a background character, I think, for the Halloween stage. Um, hopefully he could be playable at some point, or maybe this is the season where he's finally going to be playable. Now we have Sodom in the background. Come on, come on. But that's all I have for this video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, tune in for more future content. It's your boy Transparent Hoodie signing out. You guys have a good one. You guys stay safe. Peace.